फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अ वेरी गुड डे टू यू ऑल आई एम थैंकफुल टू ऑल माई यूट्यूब व्यूअर्स बिकॉज यू हैव मेड दिस चैनल सो सक्सेसफुल दैट आई एम कंप्लीटिंग नाइनटीन थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड इफ यू कीप ऑन सपोर्टिंग आई एल क्रॉस द ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सुन सो ए रिक्वेस्ट इज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल इमीजिएटली एंड प्रेस द बेल बटन सो दैट माई नेक्स्ट ऑल वीडियोज वेन एवर आई विल अपलोड यू विल गेट टू सी इट इमीजिएटली एंड यू विल गेट अ नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दैट सो टूडे सब्जेक्ट इज सर्च रिपोर्ट सर्च रिपोर्ट इफ यू मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल नो हु आर इन टू प्रॉपर्टी बाइंग एंड सेविंग और हु आर टेकिंग लोन्स फ्रॉम द बैंक एंड फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन दे नो वेरी वेल अबाउट द सर्च रिपोर्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल गो बाई क्वेश्चन बाई क्वेश्चन वॉट इज सर्च रिपोर्ट ए सर्च रिपोर्ट is a detailed study of a particular property and its documents with all historical uh, dates and execution numbers registration numbers copies of the same whether the originals are available or not whether there are uh, some documents what are the 712 extract whether mutation is done whether there is a pr card there is a mutation is done uh other uh, corporation and gram panchayat or something like that there your mutation is done or not and from this after studying all the document minutely date by date we arrange them chronologically date wise from the last to first normally the search report is required uh, uh, around for 13 years uh and if in last 13 years the title has traveled uh, properly from one hand to another and all the documents were handed over from the earlier owner to the current owner and if documents are online the search report is uh, we prepare the search report accordingly and there we can say whether the property is uh, of a clear title or not so second is why it is necessary search report is necessary when you take loan or when you buy the property the buyer needs it most why because seller is once the docu- the property is sold the documents are transferred or whatever happens it, once the execution deed is executed in sub register office he takes the money and he goes away so most of the time the purchaser don't know where the seller gone most of the people go out of country or shift to some other cities the addresses are not known to the purchaser next so <clears throat> search report is a certificate that tells the purchaser whether he should buy this property or not whether he should invest his hard earned money in this property or not because the property prices today are sky high they are touching the highest limits they are in crores even a small 1 bhk flat is 15 lakhs and even a person buying the flat for 15 lakhs it is his lifetime earning uh, he invest in that buying that property and um, today nobody have so much money with them so everybody takes uh, financial support from the banks or financial institutions uh, to buy this property and the financial institutions and banks don't give you loan or don't disburse the loan unless your property title is clear and this title clear certification is the given that is called title search report so when to take such report so when to take such report so again the sub- subject is same the matter is same that if you are buying a property from someone then you should investigate the title properly minutely and thoroughly because if a single document from this link 
from first purchaser land owner to builder builder to first owner first owner to second owner second owner to third owner nowadays uh, there are chain of four or five or six people uh, the property has been transferred from one hand to another hand so this property if this one of the owner or one of the paper from this chronological title documents is missing then this could be a problem if original title deed is missing from the title documents then what it could be what is the uh, what we consider it we consider it as a, as a legal consultant and lawyer we consider it that this original title deed must have given to some bank and loan is taken because the equitable mortgage is mortgage by depositing title deed when you deposit your title deed with the patpedi bank financial institution or even a private money lender even a private money lender if he want to give some hand loan to the borrower he takes the custody of original document so there is a big risk that this original document which is missing could be given to some person and a money is borrowed and may not be repaid in time and if you buy the property you take risk of not checking the search report and all the documents properly then you pay complete consideration amount to the seller the seller goes away and after 2 years or 3 years someone comes and claims on that property that this property is mine it has been mortgaged to me and my this amount loan with interest is so much or some bank comes forward and tells them that this property is mortgaged with them against the mortgage by depositing title deed and then they claim on that property and they they have right to confiscate that property seize the property take the charge of that property to recover their loan so this is what risk is there so that's why the search reports should be taken in buying any property should be taken it is a must that is what my advice is you can take search report from any good lawyer who knows what is the title documents who know, who has practiced in this uh, property law field and he can guide you he can give you certificate don't save your small amount to pay to the lawyer while buying the property because the title uh, this search report may cost it the cost and charges vary from lawyer to lawyer a minimum uh, uh, 3000 uh, bucks are taken by some lawyer or if the property is uh, amounting more the property details are more the l- property is of a high value a property is a agricultural land or a plot or a commercial building or any property then the pro- some good lawyer or knowledgeable lawyer may charge higher amount means maybe 25000 50000 normally it is uh, again when we talk about charge when it is a agricultural land the risk of uh, title is very high and the amount investing is very high normally builders and developers take the agricultural land for development and that time they may not be knowing whether the owner who are a villager and a agriculturist he don't know he takes small small petty loans from someone he even uh, gives something uh, on in writing on 100 rupees or 200 rupees 500 rupees bond that i am mortgaging this property and take and he takes the finances from the private money lender and there is a very high rate of interest and there is no uh, uh, no record of it in the government sub register office if bank is there it is very easy to identify that there is a entry in the sub register office you search for that and you get to know that to whom 
and which bank the uh, seller has mortgaged the property but if it is a private money lender then there is a risk is very high and in that case the agricultural land case uh, we charge uh, 50000 and above according to the land size and according to the how many sadbaras are there how many mutation entries are there in that property and how many transfers are done from one hand to another like that how many uh, ancestors are there how many successors are there who are the legal heirs how many are the legal heirs what are their shares in that property we have to identify their shares also in this search report that is why this search report is very important uh, issue and everybody who is buying a property whether it is a small amount or a big amount he should opt for a search report and it is necessary what exactly we do so i have already told that what we do while taking the search we first of all call upon each and every document from the seller if there is a sadbara then we also call for the there in sadbara there are uh, round there are circles on the right hand side uh, in that there is a number is written we need all those mutation those are mutation entry numbers we need all those mutation entries we have to look for the dormant reservation where uh, we also look for is there any uh, um, dam reservation or high tension line is there or any other government uh, uh, reservations are there most of the time uh, the bus stand reservation is there the parking reservation is there garden reservations are there there is a cremation uh, land reservations are there so many there so we have to search for that we have to search for the look for the all the government uh, objections and their notifications and grs for that particular land and that city or village then we search about that then we jot it down all the date wise then we prepare a family tree family chart the flow the main owner then how many children he has got then they got married then how many children they get and then like that there are around uh, 50 60 people comes in the picture and we have to arrange that property um, the family tree in that way and people die they die in tested then there there is a inheritance and right of inheritance and succession in that property then we have to identify their individual share in that and as per hindu law it is by birth a child gets right in the ancestral property if it is a self and uh, earned property then there is a different norms are uh, applied if it is a uh, ancestral property then different norms are applied if it is a hindu joint family property then again it is there is something different norms are applied if it is a muslim uh, property then the inheritance and succession uh, patterns are different and then different laws are applicable we do all this work and it is a very tedious and very tough work to do this that's why we we definitely charge uh, for the search report but uh, this is must don't save this money because it may if you save it tomorrow you may land in a big trouble your property may uh, become title become faulty and you may lose your rights in the property and someone may claim for that so uh, i hope uh, you understood the importance of search report and title report the builders are definitely uh, needed it even every person who is buying property should go for that and he must get the search report uh, done title investigation done from a good lawyer if you have any queries if you have any questions if you want some consultation i am there my contact number will be displayed here right below my image i'll be uh, publishing it 
you can send me your documents by email or by whatsapp avoid the whatsapp because uh, reading is problematic but i will um, suggest that meet me in person take appointment i visit uh, i am in aurangabad pune nagar mumbai i go to all these places you can come to these places my dates are already intimated uh, most of the i have made a whatsapp group so people who call me i add them to whatsapp group and i intimate my dates in advance 10 or 15 days in advance then in which city i will be on what date and how many days i will be there and what appointment slots will be open so please uh, feel free to call definitely my phone consultation is chargeable i cannot afford to give this consultation free of cost this video is you are seeing is free of cost i have already given you very detailed information about the search report so if you have personal questions personal queries personal consultation you want please you have to pay minimum charges are 500 rupees maximum charges are depending on the work how much tedious and how much work i have to do how many man hours i have to invest for your work so i hope you like the video once again i request you to subscribe this uh, channel push the bell button so that my next uh, videos when i will upload you will get notification and a very heartily request to you people please share this video to the maximum people so that people should um, understand the importance of this search report